what we're doing today. This is my second time visiting the Oakland Vintage Market, and I have been so impressed by the kinds of things that these vendors are able to source each month. It's a small market, but it has already proven itself to be super reliable. And it's been such a fun way to start my Saturdays. There's always amazing art, high quality furniture, and other fun treasures. This Woolrich flannel even caught my eye. Very, very tempting. This time though, I'm on the hunt for a pair of floor lamps, maybe some opaque vase options for my monthly flower arrangements, and I really need a large scale frame for a new print that I just ordered. This vase was super tempting, and looking back at it now, I kind of regret not buying it. Let's see what I got today. Let's start at the Oakland Vintage Market. I found this really neat tray. Really, really interesting pattern. I thought this was so beautiful and what a good tray to have. Very geometric, got really good handles. Perfect. And look at this, this is cool. The same gentleman who sold me the tray also had this piece and the bowl that I'm gonna show, but this is teak. The joinery is really beautiful all the way around. It's a little drawer and inside it has these little spaces. I'm probably gonna put tea bags in it, but after talking to them, we think that maybe this was for the mini, the very small CDs. I'll put a picture of one on the screen if I can find an example. But these are basically like miniature CD size. They're three inch, three and a half inch, which is a very strange size. They're a little bit too narrow this way for a cassette tape. So yeah, we weren't really sure, but <laughs> it sounds right. So I think I'm gonna use this for tea. I'm gonna put it in my little coffee station. Yeah, loved this. I thought this was just the coolest thing. So the same guys also sold me this beautiful bowl, another tea piece. So I'm thinking for this can be like a fruit bowl or where I can put my tomatoes. I mean, this is probably more for a salad, but I've been wanting something to hold my tomatoes in. So for now, we're gonna use it for that. It came as a set, but it, the actual smaller bowls just didn't stylistically look the same, so I didn't get the whole set. He was very kind to, set, to sell me just uh, this piece. While I was there, I also got some jewelry. Um, there's a sweet vendor who always has a ton of like really beautiful earrings and rings and bracelets and this time I finally stopped in and got some. The inspiration to pick these up was pretty much solely based on the fact that I'm going to a bachelorette here in a few weekends so I needed something glittery and I think this will be a good set. These really remind me of my, my dancing days when I used to be a little dancer, but I love these. I'm a big fan of the shape and I actually saw these the last time I was there. So I figured, you know what? Why not go ahead and pick them up? On my way out, I actually scooped the loop and kind of went back in. Um, I just found this little handmade ceramic tray. It's got short little feet on it. I have been looking for a butter dish. Really every once in a while when I have a loaf of bread in the house, I like to just have bread and butter and so I think it's time to get an official dish. After Oakland Vintage, I went to Habitat for Humanity Restore. This is just another place that has a ton of recycled, reusable materials, furniture, hardware, tile, and dressers, everything. They always are cycling through stuff, and I've been looking for two things. I want a pair of lamps to replace the ones I currently have. I'd like to have something more grown up and elevated in my space finally. I think it's time. Um, and then secondly, and actually more importantly, I've been looking for a pair of frames that I can frame 
this beautiful piece of artwork that I got from Christine Covert. She's an artist. I know her from my hometown. She moved to DC a few years ago, so she's a really wonderful abstract artist. And just because, you know, knowing that little bit of history is kind of like a very sentimental piece to me. She has no idea who I am, and that's totally fine, but I love her work. I bought one of her prints of, I believe it's her parlor series. I found a piece that was really bright blues and oranges and kind of just these deep maroon tones. I think we're starting to sense a trend in terms of what I'm bringing into this house, but I need a frame for it. It's an 18 by 24 and I'd like to have a piece that's a little bit larger than that or a, a frame that's a little bit larger than that. She had recommended going with a CB2 model, beautiful green metal frame. That unfortunately is sold out and so I've been kind of like trying to figure out an alternative. The piece is gonna go over my little bar hutch area. Um, right now I have hats hanging there. They're actually covering up my breaker box. And so because it's so high, it's like a really strange position and I'd like to get a nice big piece of artwork to put up there and cover that up, but also take up the space nicely. So I've been looking for a frame to get that framed and here's what I found. I actually saw this piece at the Habitat Restore maybe a month ago um, and I was thinking about buying it. I wasn't sure if this rusty color mat was gonna compete with Christine's piece so I ended up not buying it then. It was marked for 20 bucks then, it was marked for 20 bucks now and I decided, you know what, I've, I saw this last time, it's the right size, why not give it a try? And then while I was looking around a little bit more. I also found this beautiful piece. I thought it was very striking, again, bringing in those sort of like maroony colors, but this is also the correct size. This piece was not priced and it was kind of actually hanging in the, uh, the special art section. I ended up paying only $10 for each of these. It's quite a steal. But anyways, Point is, I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to cover up this piece of artwork, which is very beautiful. It's kind of like Art Nouveau, um, and it is, it's a print. It's 186 of 500 of this artist, and it's kind of got an interesting texture to it. So I was debating whether to put Christine's piece in here, it would look great, or just actually leave this piece as is and put it over my oven. I have a big space, a big wall space right there that could use bright, large pop of color. And this might actually work really well there. So I got both. It was a total steal. Was not expecting that. I was expecting this piece to maybe be like 50 bucks. But again, 10 and 10, done. So, and now that I look at it, yeah, it might not be the right size for this frame. Well, that worked out, right? Let's get this over here. Something I've noticed as I've been searching for a frame is the frames themselves, especially the metal ones, can get really beaten up. And I mean, even this one, you can see some of the metallic coming off. It's less noticeable on this one, so I'm not as annoyed by it. But the point is, there were some really interesting like purple metal and green metal frames that I also saw at the ReStore, but they were so scratched up. I'm like, how am I supposed to fix this without just repainting the whole thing. That whole endeavor would be way more work than just finding a different frame. So while I don't love the wood, it is the right size. And it's one of those things where it's like, I saw it before and considered it, like maybe someday I'll change out the mat and that'll help kind of lighten it up a little bit. It's a little heavy right now, but I know that these colors are probably gonna bleed a bit for her piece because the mat will come over just a bit. So these, these two colors will probably clash a bit, or maybe it'll be fine, I don't really know. We'll try it out, we'll, we'll give it a go. I'm not entirely sure how much a custom mat is, but I'd be willing to figure that out for the purposes, for the sake of this. And if anything, I might find something that's like a bright color, maybe even a gold, I don't know, just to kind of like play into that a bit more. But yeah, I'm so happy that I finally found it these frames and i got a freaking steal on that one I, I honestly i mean i just i can't believe it while i was at the restore i did find two really beautiful lamps oh man i wanted i i was ready to get both of them they both kind of like slide under a couch 
you know, or a bed. They, they were a very uh, slim profile, a very geometric shaped, clean lines. It's probably also kind of an art deco-y kind of vibe. And the woman who was writing up my, my ticket for <laughs> my purchase, she was like, just so you know, each of those are $2.95. I said, $295. <laughs> That's a lot. She's like, I know my floor manager just priced them and they were, you know, 2000 something dollars. And so they, that's what they put it at for now. I was just like, you know what? Not this time. She's like, yeah, maybe come back in a week. We'll probably mark them down a bit. So here's to hoping I can go back in a few days. Maybe I'll go during the week, like a Wednesday or something when they're not expecting it and see if they're still there and if they've marked them down yet. I would pay 50 for each of them easily. That that would be a no brainer. We'll see, I'm not gonna pay $300 each for them. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Um, so I left those. But the last thing I got at ReStore was a tea set. It's a little Japanese tea set, a really well-made ceramic. <laughs> Are we sensing a trend of, of rust and peach and uh, orange? <laughs> But this, and then it came with a set of six cups. I taped them all together so I could carry everything out. I was trying to be strategic. I've been looking for a teapot for a while now, and I, I saw some when I was at World Market, but I just, I don't wanna buy from World Market if I don't have to, you know? Like, if I can actually find an antique or, you know, thrift or some other way of finding a, a, a vintage piece, I wanna do it. So anyways, this set came with six cups and this teapot. It does have a really nice interior, nice and sealed up. But while it doesn't have a, a filter system in the middle, like you kind of see now in more modern models, it does have the filter right there at the spout. So I'm gonna give it a go. I have some jasmine green tea that are actually the little flowers that I've really been wanting to use. And I think this would be the perfect thing to actually steep them in. But yeah, I thought this was so beautiful. What a pretty little set. And <laughs> you guys, look at this. It was all meant to be today. Look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. Now, do I have space for all of these? No, I don't, but they stack very nicely. So I think these would be a nice pretty thing to actually display out on the counter. The trick is we just need to make space on the counter now. So. That's one of the things we're gonna do. Fun finds today, things that I did need and I've been looking for. Um, very excited about the tray, very excited about the, the teak bowl. Um, I have seen those things at many other fairs and vintage shops and I think I got a good deal on all of those items today. So I'm pretty proud. It was a very chill day, did not have a ton of expectations, but I'm happy with what I, what I came back with. Thanks for joining me today. It was fun as always. And we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.